Today's voices need to be more than just a pretty voice. Today's voiceover talent has to be a boss, a VO boss. Set yourself up with business owner strategies and success with your host, Ann Ganguza, along with some of the strongest voices in our industry. Rock your business like a boss, a VO boss. Welcome, everybody, to the VO Boss Podcast. I'm Ann Ganguza, along with my lovely co-host, Gabby Nistico. Hey, Gabby. Hi, Ann. And we are here with an extra special guest today. Uh, Heather Costa comes to us from L.A. now. Um, now, I have known Heather since 2006, so I am so excited to actually have her here on the podcast. Heather, welcome, welcome, welcome to the VO Boss Podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yay! So I, I kind of introduced you by saying that you just recently moved to the Los Angeles area. And I know myself, being from the East Coast and moving West back in 2008, what a feat that was and how <laughs> that really impacted my business. And we'd love to talk to you a little bit about that and a little bit about you and your voiceover career and how you evol evolved into actually relocating to Los Angeles. So if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit about how long you've been doing this and what got you started. And then, sure. yeah. Um, well, I've been doing voiceover since 2004. And um I've always had the dream of being out here in L.A., but it always, I, I knew it wasn't right until it was. Like, I knew that we would know when the time was right. And um, I was fortunate to have a successful career from New York, but there were certain things that I didn't have access to or not as many opportunities as I do in L.A. And um, my whole life, I wanted to be Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I... <laughs> um, we came out here chasing the Disney dream. <laughs> it's really go. what what it is. So and Heather, it wasn't yeah. just you. It was your your yes. entire family. And so I know that, that 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 is even more impressive. Yeah, my husband and our two boys, um, Gavin who's five and Tyler who's nine. And uh, it was a big a big change for all of us. And I realize it would have been easier obviously if this had happened years ago, but um, we just weren't ready then. So uh, thankfully everybody is adjusting and, and uh Overall, happy to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about the logistics and, and the move itself and like how you kind <laughs> of plan this? For, I mean, as much as you can plan because there's so many unknowns, yeah. but, um, do you know, just, just kind of how, how it went for you and, and um, I don't know, things that you did that you think you did really well and maybe things that you would have done a little bit differently if you had it to do again. <laughs> Not that anybody wants oh, yes. to go cross country again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have a list. Um, so <laughs> we had been toying with this idea for a while. And um, in September, my husband and I came out here and kind of did the coast. Uh, we started in San Francisco, met with clients and just different agents and all that stuff, and then came down to L.A. And that trip was really our time to be like, OK, could we be here? Is this where we want to be? Is, you know, is this the right time in my career? And by the end of that trip, it was like, absolutely, like, we need to be here. And everyone that I had met with was so encouraging. Um, Mary Lynn Wisner was a big, uh, a big fan to get us out here. And um, Maurice Tobias and just a lot of a lot of great support and uh, love from, um, you know, friends in the community, Jeff Kafer. I mean, it was, uh, it was great. So um, we came back from that trip in September. And freaked out for about a week and then <laughs> said, okay, we're going to do this. And we put our house um, on the market. And uh, surprisingly, within two weeks, we had an offer. And wow. that ended up being the person that bought our house. Wow, and wow. my husband started applying to jobs because we're like, okay, we're going to do this logically. We have a family. We have to be smart about this. So we said, we're not going to do this until the house sells and he has a job. And amazingly, all those things lined up. And we came Isn't out again, great? just the two of us. Oh. Yeah, uh, we came out again, just the two of us in December, and he interviewed for the job he has, and he was offered the position. And then we went home, freaked out again, <laughs> and uh, exactly a month later, we closed on our house and we moved, and uh, it, it was just nuts. You, and took wow. the big leap. <laughs> Heather, if I can kind of oh ask gosh. you, I know you said you, you know sure. you, you went the you were you started off in San Francisco and then you came down to L.A. and yeah. you said by the end of the trip you knew. And I yes. love that you said that because <laughs> the same thing kind of happened for Jerry and I, my husband and I, when mm -hmm. we came to California. What was it that 
be, you know, what was it that, that you knew? You know, how was it that when you were here, you mm. knew that this was the place, this was the time, uh, this is where you were meant to be? It just, it felt so right. Mm -hmm. Like I was in these workshops and I was meeting with these casting directors and I wasn't nervous. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. that sounds so silly, but mm -hmm. I just, I felt like I was home. I felt like it was time and I was ready. Mm -hmm. And as terrified as I was about leaving everything we've ever known on the East Coast, um, I knew that if we didn't take this leap, that it would always be a wonder and, right. and just, you know, should we have or what would have happened. So, uh, so yeah, and, it, and it was I, time. And I think probably when you got back and your house sold, right? Because <laughs> that was a big factor for my, yes. my husband and my uh, myself as well. And, and it was like, it was almost like oh, everything's are starting to align. I love that you said that. Yes. And um, <laughs> like, like I said, you had it, you even had it, like you have, you have children. So mm -hmm. then you had schools to think about. Yeah, it definitely was stressful. Um, thankfully, we had a great realtor here who was kind of our feet on the ground. And uh, he knew what we were looking for. And we had phone calls with him every night. And so we narrowed between September and December, we narrowed down the areas. And then when we were here in December for Chris's, my husband Chris's interview, we had one and a half days. And we went and looked at school districts and houses. And it was crazy. And then uh, when we got back, that's when it was, uh, the kids didn't even really know until then. So they basically had a month to digest it. And unfortunately, Ooh. which I wish we didn't have, we hadn't done, I wish we had been able to not have to do this, but we took them out in mm. the middle of the school year because, mm. you know, the job and the house and everything, we didn't have a choice, but um, it made it really hard on them, especially my, my older son. But um, they're starting to get a little more settled now, so... Do you still have family back east that you'll have an opportunity yes. to go back? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All of our family um, is in the in the Northeast. Got it. So, so in addition to being a VO boss, if I I'm <laughs> going to call you that, being a VO <laughs> boss and picking up and moving your you know your family you know across the country to pursue your dream, what did you do once you once you got here? Because I know that you had such a successful career on the East Coast, but mm -hmm. I know that myself when I moved to the West Coast, it's another story. There's more yes. there's people different people to meet, you know, mm -hmm. um, different connections to be made. So what did you do uh, once you got here? Yeah, it's funny you mention that. My business plan completely changed just because mm. it was a whole different way of looking at things. Yeah. So um, I took a, it took about a month to just not do anything. Like I knew it was there and I just was trying to focus on family and slowly unpacking. Um, and then I just started getting involved as much as I could. And all the contacts that I had made while on the East Coast and in September and December I reconnected with them and I started um, going to workshops and attending classes and just meeting as many people as I could and finding my groove here, finding the coaches that I really connected with and then wanted to continue working with and uh, just tried to submerse myself in the, in the industry here. Heather, geographically, I mean, because you were, I mean, in the, the New York metro for... Mm -hmm quite some time mm -hmm. what do you what are you seeing as some of the differences between you know the way business is conducted in new york versus the way it is in la well Any observations um, on that yeah i mean i i wasn't in new york city i was about an hour or so north of the city so i'd only go in very rarely most i did from my studio um but here, I'm able, I do both. I do a lot for my studio, and then I'm also going to studios. So L.A. feels more spread out. Um, mm. And I just feel that there's a lot, a lot more opportunity. In New York, a lot of that New York City stuff, you had to be in the city. Right. Whereas L.A., mm. there are some things I can do from home and some things I do go into the studio for. But there's, um, I'm just finding more of what I'm looking for is here. That's fantastic. So talk to us about your Disney dream and, and, you know, do you have, do you have a, I mean, I, I love that. I mean, do you have like, like steps in, in motion for that? I know that actually, I think yeah. I read something on Facebook that was very wonderful for you the other day. Um, you got picked up by a really great talent agent. Yes. Um, I'm now with DPN, which Fantastic. I'm really excited about. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so with the Disney, uh, I had, um, 
a relationship already started when I was in the East Coast. And so when I got nice. out here about a month, I think it was, after we touched down in L.A., <laughs> um, I had a general audition for Disney Animation, um, which basically just means that I'm kind of in their pool of talent to hopefully pull from for different things. Uh, meanwhile, I realize that's just a very small first step. And I've also mm -hmm. had the opportunity to take a couple workshops with Disney animation casting directors and just trying to meet them and, and connect with them and, and uh, audition for anything and everything that I can get my hands on in that world. And hopefully, you know, eventually it'll pay off. So Heather, so not only are you a VO boss for picking up and moving yourself and your family across the country, um, setting your sights on a particular client that you really want to work with, but you're also, you know, a very, very busy person. You know, you're a mother, you're a wife, you know, you're, you're a voice of full-time voiceover artist. How, how do you do that? How do you manage that? I mean, that is real bossness. If you ask me. <laughs> um, time management, really <laughs> just mm. kind of looking at, um, it's seven days and, and, you know, when you're not sleeping, you're either being mom, being wife or, or being VO. And I just, I think a big part of it, and I'm sure you guys can completely relate to this is a big part of it is I never, this isn't work. I mean, I know it's yeah. work obviously, but <laughs> it's something I enjoy doing. So it's like, yeah, it's all fun to me. Like, I'm I'm very fortunate that when I wake up, it's like, what fun thing do I want to do first? Do I want to snuggle and play with the kids? Do I want to, you know, do a VO? It's just, it's all great. You know, I really enjoy it. So it kind of, I don't look at it as how do I get it all done? It just all kind of works and a lot of scheduling and planning, I think, is a big part of it as well. Mm. So, Heather, let's um, talk about your little guys, because um, first of all, your kids are like your doppelganger. Like, they look oh my exactly God, like you, and they're totally so adorable. flipping cute. And, you know, yeah, I, I Facebook stalk you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, so they, they do voiceover also? They do, yes. Um, my wow. youngest, Gavin, is just starting to because, you know, he's he's now learning, now knows how to read. But um, it, this was the first year, of course, for that. And Tyler has booked a bunch of things and he has some agents and he loves it. Yay. He's like, oh, my yay. gosh. <laughs> that and, is amazing. Uh, yeah. I never push it on him, of course. You know, unless it's something he's already committed to, then I'm like, you said you're doing it, get in the booth. Other than that, I'm like, hey, an audition came in, do you want to do it? And some days he can't get enough, and other days he's like, yeah, I'm going to go ride my bike, you know? <laughs> so it's like... uh, now, has he gone to a studio, an LA studio with you as well? He has not. Mm. But um, when we were talking about different things, that different camps he wanted to do this summer, I said, do you want to do more voiceover training and classes? And his face lit up, and I said, um, do you want to do it, like, virtually or in person? Person. He's like, can I go to a studio? Can I can oh, I go fun. with you? Because he knows I'm going to all these workshops. And so i uh, definitely going to try to get him involved in some of that stuff this summer because he really loves it. That's great. That's great. And so with all of this voiceover in the household, in the, across mm -hmm. the household, how's your <laughs> husband um, in terms of, I, mean, the, I, I know that my husband is a great support for my career and, and it makes a big difference. Yes. He is a huge support. He's been a huge support from day one when this was totally a pipe dream. And, and uh, he's always been there. And I never could have done all of this. I mean, I couldn't have even had the ability to raise our children the way we wanted if it weren't for him. So um, I could not do any of this without him. And I have an awesome stand-up partner, Kelly Houston, who I could not do any of this without. Uh, she keeps me sane. We, uh, we talk every day on the phone. We send each other emails with our, our to-do lists and, and what's going on. And we're always texting each other and just making sure that we're both on top of our game. So um, I owe a huge thank you to her for just all of her love and support and just always being there. Well, that just speaks volume. What a what what, what a wonderful. <laughs> I mean, what a great family. I mean, I just you know Heather. Uh, Gabby says she stalks you. I mean, I you know I kind of stalk you too, um, because I just I love like I love your pictures on on Facebook of the kids. I know and, that's what. Yeah, I'm telling you, you. and <laughs> you know so uh, you know we're we're fangirls, and so I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you so much. Heather, and for, real quick, how do people find you? How yes. do they get to stalk you themselves? And yeah. <laughs> um, So you can go to my website, uh, heathercosta.com, and uh, all the stuff is there. Awesome. Fantastic. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Heather. It's been a pleasure. And um, thanks, everybody, for listening. If you uh, have been wondering about the wonderful quality of our three-way um, connection here. It is due to our, our sponsor, IPDTL, and you too can record like a boss. Uh, just go to IPDTL.com for more information. And from yep. all of us at the VO Boss Podcast, Gabby. Have a kick butt week. Stay focused. Rock your business like a boss. A VO Boss. And you can like us on Facebook at VO Boss Podcast and Twitter at VO underscore boss. Subscribe to us on iTunes or Stitcher, guys. Have a great week. Thank you. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Join us next week for another edition of VO Boss with your host, Anganguza and Gabby Nistico. All rights reserved. Anganguza voice talent in association with Three Moon Media. Redistribution with permission. Coast to coast connectivity via IPDTL.